Hello guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about the best budget gaming CPU you can buy right now. Is it still Ryzen 5600 or maybe something else? Something like new Intel's 12th gen CPU Core i5 12600K? Spoiler alert, it's still 5600X and I will tell you why. Recently everyone talks about new CPUs from Intel and how great they are. They are, don't get me wrong. This new approach Intel is doing, the new architecture and all that good stuff, it is great. But when I see titles like buy Intel instead of AMD or there is a new sheriff in town, the old kink is dead, new kink is here, I can't agree with this. First of all, let's talk a bit about this new thing that Intel is doing. Intel basically is making now hybrid processors. Inside one CPU we have actually two. For example this new i5 12600K has 10 cores but six of them are so-called performance cores and four are efficient cores. So yes, on paper the CPU that costs the same amount of money as Ryzen 5600X has a big advantage on start. Four more cores. And when you look at the Cinebench or 7-Zip benchmarks, you might think, wow, there is nothing better for money right now. But things are getting more complicated from here. That new Intel CPU doesn't come with a cooler, so we need to add minimum $50 to that price. But wait a minute. When you look at the max TPD and temperatures under stress, whoa, the CPU is a hungry beast and can take up to 150 watts. That requires serious cooling like Noctua, NH, D15 or something similar. By the way, that costs around $100. Hmm, wait a minute. So now we are comparing CPU that costs $300 to CPU that is war 400? Let's say it's still fair. What's next? Are we going to run that Intel CPU with a new DDR5 or old DDR4 memory? DDR5 is much faster, right? Would be silly if we don't use it. DDR5 is, I quote, 50% faster, 87% bandwidth more, etc. etc. Sounds great. I'm in, but, okay, how much that cost? For CPU we are paying already $100 more. And what about the motherboards that could run that new memory with a Z690 chipset that cost minimum $220? This is the cheapest motherboard you can have. In the same time, the cheapest motherboard for Ryzen on a good B550 chipset cost $60 massive difference and of course we need memory ddr5 now so for example kit of two 16 gigabytes crucial ddr5 4800 cost around 140 dollars but it's not available anywhere for example fast ddr4 memory from g skill 32 gigs as well cost 99 dollars okay let's say we have the ability to buy that DDR5 somehow maybe that extra $40 isn't that bad considering all that massive performance we are getting wait what? benchmarks are showing no difference and in some cases DDR4 is faster? what? it happens because that's a new technology that still needs a lot of time before it can spread its wings at the moment maybe we have more bandwidth, but timings and latency are shit. When you look at the benchmarks comparing fast DDR4 versus any DDR5, you will be disappointed. Okay, so we need to pay much more for the PC parts, but maybe games run much faster, right? Not really. Again, when you look at the games run under those two CPUs, you will say, you see, Intel is winning everywhere. But let's look really closely at the results, shall we? Yes, Intel is winning, but how much? 5 frames here, 10 frames there. 10 frames when total FPS is around 40, 
is a lot it's 25 percent difference but 10 fps when your game is running 150 fps now it's only six seven percent have a look at youtube videos like 5600x versus 15600k in games you will be surprised how those two cpus are much alike intel's new 12th generation cpu are gonna be great they are not now but they will be soon windows 11 is coming that new os will handle better those e and p cores at the moment nothing is prepared nor os nor games we will see much faster ddr5 modules for better prices motherboards will be cheaper this will happen soon but now don't spend too much money on something that will give you only a bit faster gaming experience you can save that money for something else like a logitech g29 driving force racing wheel and pedals or simply buy a faster ryzen cpu also ryzen 5600x is with us for a year now you can always buy it on a second-hand market as i did recently i bought ryzen 5600x with a motherboard on a b55 chipset used but perfect condition for 280 pounds in the us market you can find deals like this for around 300 dollars you can do the same and save some money if you don't know how to connect these uh, new parts don't worry i'm sure you know someone that could fit it into your case for a beer or two all right guys that's gonna be it i hope that video was helpful sorry for my voice today i'm feeling a bit under the weather if you found that uh, video interesting consider subscribing don't forget to smash that like button only if you want and i shall see you next time thank you bye